I finally got my workbench done. So now I can put on this vise that actually my dad made back when he was in college. He's a machinist, and so when he was in college, this was one of the projects that he worked on. Before I put it on, I want to make some jaws for it. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to make the jaws out of this oak I have here. And let's measure for the size that we need. Oh, so it's exactly six inches wide. And if we look down here, the height that I can manage is about uh, three and three quarters inches. So I'm actually going to make them, I'm going to make the jaws a little bit wider so then I could clamp stuff off to the side on either side and they won't, they won't interfere with the, uh, the guides down here. So I think I could probably add two inches to each side and it would still be, yeah, and it would still be pretty solid. You know, when I clamp down, obviously this is not that thick, so it'll, it's going to flex a little bit. Um, so I don't want it to be too far out to the side. So I think about two inches on either side should be fine. So I'm going to want it to be ten inches wide total and three and a quarter inches tall and it actually would be good if the top of the jaws was a little above this so let's see maybe we'll actually go with four inches so four inches tall and ten inches wide all right I'm gonna root my piece of stock here for the jaws um, I don't have an outfeed table, so what I'm going to do is just push it all the way off the end using the push sticks and just let it hit the floor, and that's okay. And actually, I want, I'm, I want to start the, the habit of being okay with whatever happens after the material goes through the saw. Because I never want to have the habit of reaching for something over the blade. Um, if you bang up the end of your piece, well, you know, you lose that piece, but you're never going to get a finger back. So until I can build an outfeed table, some pieces are just going to be too long and they're going to go on the floor and that's going to be okay. I got my stock already. I'm just gonna break the corners a little bit. The card scraper. And a little sandpaper. Wouldn't really have to do this at all, but my thinking is uh, if you're putting a piece in here and you Hit it on the corner, on the edge here, you could ding up your workpiece, especially if it's softwood, so makes sense to kind of just round over the corners a little bit.
Vice jaws all done. Let's clamp something in there. Well, so it certainly works. Well, now I just need to install the vise on the side of my bench, and then I can actually start using it. That's gonna be awesome. So I'll do that in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. Um, hope to see you next time. Take care.